as Mancini just gets pushed and thrust down onto the turf. Pills have a free kick which have taken quickly from inside the centre circle. Crawford finds Mancini wide on the right hand side into the box for Gray. Now a shot from Crawford which get, goes through a crowd of bodies and is gathered by Adam Dubois. Pulls corner. Featherston to deliver an out swinger. Parks is there headed away. Shoot. Falls to Luke Hendry. Goes for the shot but it's over the crossbar of the Hampton and Richmond goal. Well, an upset of the afternoon already is on because Bishop Stortford are winning 4-0 against Aldershot. <laughs> I mean, that, that is something. Oh, a slip from the oh, defender. Keeper. Might open up for Duffus. And the goalkeeper's come a long way out and then clattered into Duffus. Pulls with a corner here. Featherston curling right on top of the goalkeeper who punches it, doesn't quite get all of it. Comes through to the far side. Crawford at the byline. Delivers into the front post. Headed away. Falls to, uh, falls to Duffus. And now Mancini keeps the move alive for Featherston. And Parks clipped into the penalty Good area. Ball. Duffus arriving. His header is wide. At the left-hand post of the Hampton and Richmond goal. Free kick for Hampton and Richmond. It's Rob Hall. It's left-footed. And it's header. headed away from the wall. As Rob Hall does well to try and feed a ball through. It's cut out, though, by Tom Parks. He needs an option, and Gray gives him one. Gray, though, being wrestled to the floor. <laughs> that was clearly a free kick, but the referee gives play on. Parks into Mancini, inside the box, cuts it back to oh. Duffers with a little flick round his standing leg, a little back heel. It was cheeky from Duffers. It almost wrong-footed Adam Dubois. Out to this near side for Hendry. Clips the ball to Crawford, who gathers it well and then curls one into the box. It's cleared under the feet of Hendry, comes out to Featherston. Now Hendry once more, wide on the right-hand side of the penalty area. Into ball. the box for Mancini, a little flicked on header that goes wide of the mark. It was a good ball, it was the right idea from Mancini. Raised eyebrows around the press box on that one, but there we are. But you've got to be careful with that, though. There's a couple of times the goalkeeper's tried that, of that quick... Sort of uh, quick release, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Long kick to, to Simo, who's trying to spin him behind, and he, he does look sharp. Pulls on the attack down the left oh, hand brilliant. side, and Joe Gray has done brilliant. well. Into Duffers, first shot is saved, second oh, shot is yeah. saved, and then it's scrambled away for Hasty at the touchline. Skips past one, and then lays it off to Wallace, who goes across the field to Featherston. Everybody forward for Pools. Everybody back for Hampton and Richmond. Pools are ready and get another change as Joe Gray goes past his marker at the byline. Cuts it back to Crawford oh. in towards Hasty, oh. who shot it straight at Adam Dubois. Hampton and Richmond pressing high up the pitch now and trying to force a mistake. And Parks did really there. well he there, did there really Rob. Well, yeah. it, it, the ball was really high up in the air and he provides a signal. In it comes, right-footed to the back post. It's over everybody and out for a goal kick. Circling away from red shirts and finds Ferguson, who has an awful lot of space in front of him, but he needs a run. Hasty trying to do that just now, but Ferguson wanted the option short rather than the ball in behind. And now Ferguson has fouled his man. And yeah. Ferguson is going to get a yellow card here, and he does. Hasty has to make another run there. He's, he's trying to run him. Oh, and it's actually, it's a second yellow. The yellow card has gone to Hasty, and Jake Hasty has been sent off. Is that for kicking Hastie the ball has away? been sent off. They, go, they want to go and win the game, don't they? They've got that advantage, and they're the pressing forward. And they're pressing forward in numbers, and a run at the byline, looking to provide the cross. It's deep, it's to the back post. Curran Brown is there, heads it down into the box, and it's a shot that comes in from Whittingham, but it's blocked by Pools. That's just that one little mistake could cost the game to do. Seymour, who's had nothing to work on, has won a free kick. It's laid off, it's a training ground move, it's Wishart who blazes his effort well wide of the mark. And the referee blows the whistle, so we're straight to penalties. It's Whittingham, it's a very short and straight run-up. Joel Dixon settles his feet on his goal line, Whittingham puts him the wrong way and scores. Featherston against Adam Dubois, the pool's captain, right-footed, and it's saved by Dubois. He tried to go down the middle. Pretty easy save. Sam Deadfield 
for Hampton and Richmond, puts it straight down the middle. By both sides. Kieran Wallace, left footed, drills it into the back of the net. Joel Dixon going full Jersey Dudek on the touchline, but he's sent the wrong way. Ferguson, left footed, Dubois dancing on his line, and Ferguson misses it. Could win, could progress. It's Jake Gray, the former Pooley, and he blazes it over the crossbar. He has to score. It's a direct run-up. It's short. He drifts off to the left, right-footed, and he does. Chris Ray dispatches it. It's Seymour. Right-footed, staggered run-up, and he does. He buries it, and he dumps Hartlepool United out of the FA Trophy. The boos ring round the ground. The celebrations are for the 94 travelling Hampton and Richmond fans. The management team and the players celebrate on the pitch.